MTD CNC have travelled to JJ Hardy to discuss the new HX250 IG Kitamura from Leader CNC. This is your second Kitamura, Andrew. Yep, this is the second machine we've put in inside a year. Um, very pleased with our first machine, which is the HX250G. And then we've put the second one, which is a 250IG in, which has got some quite good improvements to it. What are the improvements? Uh, the control is the fastest control available on the market. Uh, we've got a, a, a 300 RPM uh, fourth axis on here now. So the indexing of that is really, really fast, which helps us on our cycle times. And I think the tool change is about an, uh, half a second quicker as well. Uh, the twin pallets, um, they're 250 mil square pallets? That's correct, yeah. We've got the 250 square pallets on, on, on uh, both sides and the 40, 40 tools in the tool changer. And the programming language, how, how are you finding, what are the differences? It's, it's just very, it's very, very easy. It's just a basic uh, ISO G codes. Uh, we've actually trans transferred the program from the machine next door onto this machine up and run straight away. And what have you replaced to, to put this new Kitamura in? Well, our ongoing uh, automation um, improvements, we've, we've, we've identified that at vertical machine centres, there's too much downtime with them. So the automation on a twin pallet, you load the pallet while the machine's cut in. And we've probably saved about 18 minutes in an hour on this machine. So you replaced two three-axis machines with this Kitamura? So we had two vertical machine centres gone out that were both working at less than 50% productivity. We put the twin pallet machine with the automation and it works all the time. I'm looking at this footprint and it's such a small footprint. I would imagine that the two three axis machines would have been the same kind of footprint each. The, each of the vertical machines were, were very similar size to this. Um, I think this is the actual smallest twin pallet in its, in its class available. And in regards to human intervention, obviously you're loading the second pallet, but is there less human intervention, less chance for errors as well on the components that you're making? And not to forget, it's the same work that you were actually making on the three-axis machine. Yeah, so we're doing, we're doing exactly the same operations, but with, with the fourth axis, you've got an extra axis, and then with the twin pallet, you've got the automation. So you can hear the machine's cutting now. That machine should be cutting metal all the time. And, and the accuracy of the uh, Kitamoras with the true geometric tolerances. Can you explain to the people that are viewing this video, you know, what, what does this entail? So the, the actual, the machine, the quality of the machine build allows the true position, not, not, um, not to be altered with the offsets and things like that. So it's a true position, um, the, the, the guide weighs, and we're holding zero to a millimetre on it day in, day out. And they're running 24, 24 7. We've got a 24, 24 hours a day now, yeah. And in regards to the, the support and the service from Leader, obviously this, it's your second machine in the space of a year. Now, how are you finding that? Well, the, the support that we're getting from Leader is, is second to none. Any slight problems that we've had, which have been minimal, the, the response has been superb and, 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 and have acted straight away. Well, there you have it from Andrew at JJ Hardy, the Kitamura HX250. G I G. I G. Brilliant. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you.